Hello. Yeah. Um, so there's a picture that's all over the internet of you playing with a dinosaur with your geek quote attached to it. Oh uh, yes, yes. So uh, what, at what point in your life did you feel like that applied to you most, where you felt like being a geek, a geek is so liberating? Because that's, I mean, obviously inspirational to all of us. Yeah. <laughs> Um, I don't know, I, I've always kind of felt like when you're a kid, you don't think about it at, at all because it's very natural for children to be as enthusiastic as, as adults later like become in their state of geekdom. And then you get slightly older and you realize that um, you know, you, you're still in love with something and you still want to talk about it and you still want to dress up like it and watch it hundreds of times. Um, it's, it's the older you get, the more you realize how okay it is to be like that, do you know what I mean? And how, how, how you need to celebrate that thing and not feel weird about it. That's why these events are amazing, because we can all get together and just share that love, you know, and it's a very, it's a brave and it's a very positive thing to just sort of be out about a, 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 a passion that you have, you know, and not give a shit what anyone thinks about you for it, you know? There will be, there will always be people out there who kind of like go, oh, what, what, what's your problem? When, you know, they probably have things that they're geeky about, you know, uh, sport or whatever. Um, so... <laughs> football or something. Um, but yeah, I think, I, th I think the older I got and the less... The, 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 I, my, my love of stuff didn't diminish as I got older. I still loved... You know, I was 29 when The Phantom Menace came out and it still made me that upset, do you know what I mean? So... It was, kind of, it was that, it was that. It was that film. <laughs> Thank you. Hi, Simon. Hi. 